Hi, I'm Andrew with JNC Guns, and uh, I'm going to be doing a field strip disassembly and reassembly of a Colt Series 80 XSE style uh, 1911 with a 5 inch barrel. Uh, this gun does have a Caspin frame on it, it's sort of a custom build, but the slide is a Series 80. Um, we did a previous video of a Series 70 1911 and uh, this is a Series 80. I'll just point out a few minor differences, but we will be doing uh, a full video of the differences between a Series 70 and a Series 80 1911 pistol because there are some uh, pretty major differences. So the first thing I'm going to do on this is safety check it. We're going to look into the chamber and you can see that there is no brass and in fact the pistol is safe. Uh, so we're going to start off, we're going to drop the magazine out of the pistol to get that out of the way. And what you want to do on this is with the slide closed, um, one other thing that I will talk about on this gun is that it does have a full length guide rod. Uh, our Series 70 pistol does not have one. Uh, you, can, you can set this gun up without the full length guide rod and the standard bushing setup that we saw in the last video. Um, there are some manufacturers who claim that a full length guide rod reduces the wear on the frame a little bit. Um, I couldn't really speak to the validity of that statement, I'm not really sure. But uh, there is a slight difference in the way that the pistol is disassembled when it has a full length guide rod in. So what we've got to do is, series, similar to the Series 70 pistol, we're going to slide that until you can see right here that disassembly notch uh, lines up with the slide stop and pull it out of the frame of the pistol. And at this point, the frame and slide are going to come apart. So we'll set the frame down right here next to our dollar bill for comparison. Uh, and on that dollar bill from your left to right, or I guess it's from your right to left, it's a uh, 45, a 40, and a 9 millimeter cartridge. So at this point, this is where the difference comes into play for the Series 80, or for the full length guide rod disassembly. So you're going to take your slide stop and you're going to push in because this piece right here is a little bit longer, protrudes a little more, it's kind of hard to get with your fingers, but you're going to push in on the bottom of that and you're going to twist the bushing over to the right side of the pistol and at that point the bushing cap is going to pop off and you slide the recoil spring out the front of the pistol, out the front of the slide, pull the recoil spring out and the rest of it is basically like the Series 70 with the standard uh, the standard bushing. You're going to slide the bushing and barrel out of the slide. So we'll kind of set this all here just next to the dollar bill for comparison so you can see about how big the gun is. So on top you have the slide, below that you have the frame of the pistol, and then right here you have the recoil spring, the full length guide rod, the barrel bushing, the slide stop, the bushing cap that goes on the end of the pistol to hold the guide rod in place, and the 5 inch barrel. Um, again, I'll just kind of go over a few features of the 1911. Uh, and again, this is set up like a Series 80, or yeah, as a Series 80. And you've got the straight mainspring housing right here on the bottom, as opposed to the curved one on the Series 70. Um, this gun is also set up a little differently. It's just got a few custom parts, unlike the standard mil-spec uh, Series 70 that we showed you in our previous video. Uh, this does have an extended beaver tail grip safety and an extended manual safety as well, as well as a skeletonized hammer. Uh, it's also got a longer skeleton trigger. that You can, you can change all of these things on a 1911 for how you want it set up, your personal preference, how big your hands are etc. Whether you're shooting it in a competition, it's totally up to you. Um, and again, one of the things I love about the 1911 is with the manual safety off, if you're not holding the gun properly, you can sit here all day and pull the trigger and it's just not going to fire. Uh, you've got to be holding that grip safety properly in order for the hammer to drop. And uh, Or with the manual safety on, you know, you can hold the grip properly and pull the trigger all day, it's not going to go off. It's a very, it's a safe pistol. If you have an accidental discharge with one of these, it's, uh, it's quite something to see. Um, so we'll set that aside. I've described all the parts here. Um, at this point, we will go ahead and reassemble the pistol. So 
we're going to take the slide and we're going to slide the barrel back into the front of the slide and this part is a little bit different again because this is a full length guide rod so you're going to slide that in first you can't slide that in with the recoil spring attached to it it won't go in at the same time it it's uh it'll just protrude and again as we showed you on the series 70 there are two different ends on the recoil spring and the end on your right there is what you want to go toward the rear of the pistol because that's where all the recoil goes and uh, that's the way you want to set it up so you're going to come in here and you're going to put the recoil spring back on the guide rod uh, at this point you're going to take your barrel bushing you're going to slide it back onto the end of the barrel like so twist it back over to the right side of the pistol and again when I talk about right or left I'm talking about the side of the gun uh, as you would look at it from the back of the pistol facing upright so that's facing right so um, at this point you're going to put the bushing cap back onto the pistol Sometimes you can get this with your fingers, sometimes it's a little bit easier if you use the uh, slide stop to assist. I'll show you how to use the slide stop, just so you know that extra step. So you're going to, as you can see there, I've got the end of the bushing cap um, covered on the edge of the uh, bushing, but there's that little lip that sticks up that you can get with your finger, but it makes it a little bit easier if you just take the slide stop push it down so it's flush with the slide and it'll allow you to click that bushing back into place and your slide is back together and ready to be put back on the on the frame so you want to line that little piece up right there because that's the piece that goes through the frame and then holds the barrel in place when you reassemble the gun um, so at this point you're gonna you're gonna put the slide back onto the frame like so and it's probably pretty hard to see here I don't know if you can or not but uh, you're gonna line those holes up like I described in the last video as well and you're gonna push the slide stop through and then click it up right there and then you're gonna line it up with that notch that I talked about earlier and it'll push all the way into the frame and your gun is reassembled and uh, let's do one more safety check. You can in fact see it is still safe. Um, we'll do a quick function test. Hold the gun with the safety off. Pull the trigger. Good. Walk with the trigger still pulled. Cycle the slide. And then let the trigger go. That click is the sear re-engaging. Uh, safety goes on and off. Won't fire with the safety on. And uh, you're good to go. Uh, this has been a video of a disassembly, field strip, and reassembly of a uh, Colt Series 80 XSE 1911 with a Caspin frame. Stay tuned for our other videos that we're going to do. We're going to do a comparison of a... I'm going to show you the, all the differences between a Series 70 and a Series 80 1911 style Colt. Uh, we're going to do some range videos with this and other pistols. And uh, if there's anything you guys don't understand from the video or like some clarification on, feel free to comment and we'll try and explain it as best we can. We try to be pretty thorough. Um, thanks for for watching and stay tuned for our other videos.